morning you guys happy monday welcome back to another vlog so i'm heading to work right now and even though it's monday it's like my friday this is my day four of four stretch so i'm off tomorrow and then i go back to work for the rest of the week and then it'll be my weekend off so today is august 3rd and guys my birthday's at the end of this month it's on the 28th i'll be 25 i cannot believe that i'll be 25 i feel like i'm getting so old but yeah i will be 25 and i just want to be kind of snatched you guys know i've lost a lot of weight and i've been doing a really good job of keeping it off but i haven't really been eating the greatest especially the last couple of months and i just want to change my eating habits and just try to get kind of clean and kind of shake my body right and tone up certain areas of my body and stuff by my birthday so i'm trying to put myself like on a little nice health fitness plan i guess um but i have a waist trainer and i need to wear it you guys so i was telling myself while well, i was telling babe that i was gonna wear the waist trainer every day started august 1st up until you know my birthday and then I was telling her that I was gonna also be starting to go on like walks in our neighborhood because I need to try to get some sort of exercise and I don't see myself really going to the gym I really can see myself going on walks to be active and then also like doing my little targeted workouts at home um, I don't really see myself going to the gym right now like working on a mask and just doing all of that right now I never really been a gym person, but I just know that will just really make it Not appealing for me at all right now, but who knows? I mean I might be different now, but I never really liked working out I never worked out when I lost all of my weight when people asked me They'll be like you didn't work out I'm like no because I literally don't like to work out but at some point especially when you've lost a certain amount of weight like for me I kind of feel like I'm at this plateau it's like I kind of got to do a little bit more so I either got to go back to eating healthy or find some sort of way to eat that's going to help me to lose my weight and also keep maintaining or try to get a little bit more active and I am active at work but you know can't hurt to just do a little bit more and I feel like I can commit to that it's not too extra strenuous so anyway babe was like yesterday like you know what you lied <laughs> why haven't you been wearing you know the waist trainer and I'm like you know what babe you're so right and I was already thinking I would start today because it's a Monday and I think I said that something about that in the end of last week's vlog but I'm gonna start today just making way better cleaner decisions and there's really nothing I'm gonna super duper restrict myself on, I don't think, but I'm gonna really do my portion control because that's really important, especially if you're gonna eat regularly. And then cutting out the pop. I drink a lot of soda now. I drink a lot of, um, and I can drink a lot of lemonade too, and that's kind of sugary. So I'm trying to just find better alternatives, which I do have two like sparkling water zero calories zero sugar drinks that i like to drink one of them is these i showed you guys it in last week's vlog when i was at target this is the market pantry brand this is the strawberry lemonade sparkling water this is the one that i like from there i tried one other one it was the cherry limeade i didn't care for it but i really like the sparkling ice brand their lemonade and their ginger ale one is like really good to me but babe hates it but i'm like i could totally drink those but I just haven't been to a store that's had them. driving at all 
even my brother's dad was like, yeah, I was scared to drive the car even to the mechanic because by the time it actually got fixed, it was just way too much driving. So I really just needed to be taking it to the place. Even though I really wasn't doing too, 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 too much extra driving besides going to work. So anyway, it drives so much smoother now and it feels a lot better. The only thing I got to get fixed is the muffler because it's loud and I'll be rolling. Like it, it feels like a brand new car, you guys. Like that must have been wrong with it low key the entire time that I had it, but I just thought the car rode rough because it's riding so smooth, which I'm very happy about. And even the muff, even it's a lot quieter, even though you can still hear, you know, that I need to get, the, the muffler has a slight issue and needs to be fixed and I can definitely do that. So I love my little baby. So I'm happy that she's fixed and she's back rolling. We gotta get baby's truck fixed. So hopefully we can figure out what's wrong. I don't know what's going on, but they were both having problems at the same time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just heading to work. This is the Thursday before my weekend off. So I'm actually really excited. I love when it's my weekend off because it's like my only two consecutive days that I have off. So I did put vacation in for my birthday. My birthday falls on a Friday this year. It's the 28th of this month. And I did put in um, PTO because I had just enough time, honestly, to take off that my birthday and my that weekend or whatever. Because at first I was going to still go ahead and just go to work on my birthday because, you know, I usually will work on my birthday. Um, I worked on my birthday last year, but I'm like, you know what? I need a break. Like, besides my weekends off, I don't really... I've never had more than three days off from that place in a row. Off from that place. Off from work in a row. And I be needing it, you guys. Like, it is so much. Like, it's a lot that goes into our job. And I love it. It's rewarding. Don't get me wrong. But it is very tough a lot of the times, you know. So, not having that break or having that break can really you know make or break some stuff so if I get my PTO approved then I'll have four days off from work so I have the day before my birthday off my birthday and then that Saturday and Sunday so that'll be so exciting so hopefully I find out soon if it's approved or not I'm sure that they will approve it because I'm a great worker and they know I'm gonna have a big attitude if they don't approve it, you know, I mean, if push come to shove and I really want to be off, then I can just um, probably find somebody to work my shift, but I want to make sure to cover my money. So I'm going to try to use my PTO and then I still am probably going to pick up the weekend before and after just to kind of balance out and have a little bit of extra money. You know what I'm saying? We're moving. It's a lot. I got a lot. We're planning a wedding, you know, so all the little coins that we can get right now, I am with you guys so good morning <laughs> Okay guys, so it's later on and we're getting ready to well babe's not home yet, but she's on her way home. I just got out the shower. I'm about to do my makeup because tonight is um our brother's birthday. Well, his birthday's Monday, but we're doing his birthday party event tonight. So we're going bowling, turning up with the fam, so that's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna probably show you guys me doing my makeup because I kinda wanna do like a beat face because I have not been wearing makeup, but it isn't that hot today and you know what's why not turn up and get a little extra cute for the occasion. So I wanna wear this shirt, but I don't know what pants I wanna wear yet. I wish I had black pants like this, but I don't. But I'll probably end up wearing this with some black shoes and a beat face and just a slick back, little cute, natural style. So just I let you guys know what we're doing and yeah. <laughs> 